New tonight, India King Cannon will remain Knoxville's mayor for four more years. Joining us now is news reporter Caitlin Keenahan with the latest on the Knoxville City primary results. Now 100% in, Caitlin. Yeah, Katie, thank you. Well, Mayor India King Cannon will remain mayor, as you said, and according to official final results, she had a far lead with 58% of the vote. More than 9,400 people voted for her. Jeff Tallman tailed King Cannon with 29% of the vote. The two other candidates on the ballot, Constance Every and R.C. Lawhorn picked up a few percentage points, but not enough to rival an incumbent victory. Our team stopped by Mayor India Kincannon's watch party this evening at Pochkey Deli. Kincannon spoke to supporters just moments ago after winning her re-election bid. I appreciate their support, not just at the polling place, but throughout the last three and a half years. It's been a, a topsy-turvy time, so uh, I'm grateful for um, their vote of confidence. In other city council races, incumbent Lynn Fugit won the large seat A race with 46%. Cameron Brooks finished second with 43%. For at-large seat C, Amelia Parker won with 41% and Tim Hill finished second with 37%. The candidates will meet again at the general election. Turning now to another close race, Knoxville Municipal Judge candidates John R. Rawson and Tyler Cavanis finished neck and neck in the race. Incumbent John Rawson finished with 38% of the votes and challenger Tyler Cavanis finished with 36%. The two will meet again in November. Races like the one for judge demonstrate just how close local elections can be and just how much one vote makes a difference. More than 16,000 people voted in this election. That's down from the 19,000 who voted in the last city primary back in 2019. Election Commission Director Chris Davis says the lower than average turnout was disappointing to his team. We work hard. We spend, we spend taxpayer dollars uh, to, to prepare for these elections. And then when we don't have folks come out and vote, it's, it's, uh, it's disheartening to me and frankly disheartening to my workers. These are just the primary elections. The Knoxville general election is set for November 7th. Katie. Caitlin, thank you. These results are not set in stone. You can keep up to date with the latest election results by visiting elections.knoxcounty.org.